guys. Ben. And it's been a while. Um, uh, since the last tour. Because, I don't know, it's just time, time and stuff. Um, but anyway, we're back. And I'll probably do some more of these. Because it's been asked a hell of a lot. Actually, let's, let's go have a look here. Um, in my inbox. Here. Um, let's see. See this this guy here. He was like, you know, there's just been lots of people. Um, I've had lots of personal messages like, he's this guy talking about it. Just people send me messages, so it's good to see that you enjoy it and stuff. Today we're going to be doing about getting images because oh, that's been something that's been asked about. So we're going to in the public images where it, um, this is going to get called first. So we can just test to see if this is getting called um, and how many times this gets called by just printing out something like S. And if we run it, you'll see it gets printed out. So in here, we're just going to want to uh, going to make a method called load images. So it's Metis images, and this is going to be a um, private. No, 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 no. A public, public void load images, and this is going to be used for if we want to uh, reload the images for any reason. So. Actually, no, we don't want to load the images there. We want to go, if we go into our main, um, where is it? Do, 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 do. Display, here we go. Um, we're going to want to do here, it says, so we're going to do i dot load images there. Uh, so now we can see if this is getting called by doing system dot l dot print line uh, true. See, true, getting printed out. Anyway, so in here, we're going to want to, in our images, up here, <laughs> we're going to do public image uh, background, and then in the images, is, we're just going to define it. Um, dot we do background equals new image. Uh, and we're gonna get the path for this. So C. Uh, this is for a Windows. So if we go to a computer, um, system C. So we're in C. Forward slash, and then I'm gonna make a folder called YouTube Game, just like that. So it's gotta be exact. So normally I just copy it, paste it there, and I'm gonna make a file called uh, bg.png. And then we just do dot uh, get oh sorry equals new image icon, and then we do dot get image, I believe. Yep, there we go. And then actually wait no sorry, what am I doing? We put that in the load images method, and we put uh, that image background in there. No, we don't. What am I doing? There we go. Um, just like that. So we have that image. So if we were to go into our keying class, uh, we could do or images class display class. We could do i dot bg, and we could we could draw that in places. So now we're going to make this image. So because Photoshop hates me, I'm just going to use Paint dot net to quickly make this image. Um. Now you can use whatever you want to make this image, uh, but just to make this this faster, I'm gonna make it in Paint.net. So when it loads up, like this, we're gonna do File New Image, and we'll make it 32, 32, and let's make. Oh wait, no, we don't. Okay, so let's go to our main. Uh, the width is 600, and the height is 400.
game and BG. And we we'll save it as a PNG file. Uh, just auto detect, save that. So now, if we um, we run this, and um, we've got to, we're going to make a boolean actually. Uh, public boolean images images loaded which is equal to false because they haven't been loaded right now but once they've been loaded they will be loaded so that's good and in our keying class which want to make it so it's not it's not going to do anything unless the images have been loaded so if i dot images loaded is equal to true then we'll do everything but otherwise not same with the paint component so if i i dot um oh sorry no if this dot i wait where did we where did we save it oh i see so it's it's there never mind then never mind here I so if we could make a, a boolean here actually uh, public boolean images loaded actually no that wouldn't work uh, just never mind never mind just leave it just leave it just do it in this keying bit here so format all that um now how we do this is we have this images class here um and actually oh here right if main dot f dot um where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's somewhere. F is display. Images is I. So F. If main dot F dot I. Dot. Images. Loaded. Is equal to true. Images loaded. Is equal to true. Then we'll do this, and um, we're going to want to draw an image on this screen. So uh, let's just do it here. G dot draw image. Now it's going to give you all of these parameters, and half of them we don't need. So the, the first one's the image. So main dot f dot i dot background, and we're going to draw it at zero zero, and it's going to be six hundred by four hundred, and then we just put null which is our image observer which I don't understand and then the rest of them are for things if you're doing like uh, in games you've got texture packs and the position in this texture pack where the stuff is um, so if we run this now it's going to give us an error one second I'll be right um, alright so I just remove the if statement from up here and it seemed to work so if we just format that and run it it's gonna draw this image here on the screen and stuff so that's it thanks for watching see you next time